Hello, I'm Sam, and today I want to talk to you all about the Trapper Keeper, a nifty binder. Now, one day I was carousing through Walmart, and as I normally do while in Walmart, I went down the notebook and pen section. I'm a game master, I run a bunch of RPG games, and office supplies are very useful to me. Notebooks are cool, and so are pens. But I saw the Trapper Keeper, and I wasn't quite sure what it was. It looked pretty cool, so I examined it, opened it, looked around inside of it, and I'm like, okay, that's pretty nifty. I'm starting my second group for my main RPG, so let's get it so they can store all their stuff in it. All their character sheets, notes, etc, etc. So I got it. We've had it for a little over a month now, and everyone seems to really like it. I know I especially really like it. So much so that I've bought a second Trapper Keeper for my own personal school use. So I think they're pretty nifty, and I wanted to share them with you all today. But before I get any further, I should say I am not sponsored by Mead, the company that produces the Trapper Keeper. So I'm not being paid, I haven't been given this, I bought it myself and I like it, so I'm talking about it of my own free will, I'm not being forced. I don't have to put that stupid thing YouTube wants where they're like, oh are you sponsored? No I'm not. Cheapers. Along with that too, I want to mention the schlop articles I had to go through. There are so many websites that I was on while researching the Trapper Keeper. And they all essentially took information from one good article and just kind of stole it for their own personal use. I suppose steal is a bit strong of a word. They cited the article, but it's just taking the information and more or less copy and pasting it, just changing a few words. That one original good article. It's really good. It is by Mental Floss. It's about the Trapper Keeper. They interview the guy who made it. And it's, as I keep saying, very good. I would highly recommend you read it. I'll be posting its link in the description. There is a lot of information from that article in this video. However, there's a lot of small details I unfortunately had to leave out that I think are personally really interesting, so give it a read if you have time. Or if you just want to stay here and listen to me. Sweet. Heck yeah. Do so. With those two things out of the way, let's hop right in to the history of the Trapper Keeper. Now then, the Trapper Keeper itself is a three-ring, oh, loose-leaf binder. It has a pocket right here, Oop. room for a bunch of folders, and a nifty built-in clipboard. It is very solid in design. I very much appreciate that. I feel like a lot of products are becoming a much flimsier. Or maybe that's just shopping at Walmart. In any case, it's pretty tough, it can be beat up, I really like that. But why is it called a Trapper Keeper? Very important question. Now, that is due to the folders themselves, right? These folders are called trappers. And they are called that due to the way they are designed, right? So we have papers in here. And as you can see, unlike a normal folder, look at the way the pockets are angled. Interesting, right? They're covered on top and bottom. You slide them in. Now, they're called that because when shut, they trap the papers. So, once again, looking at this, it can only go down, right? The papers. Maybe that's a bad example because they're all folded and small. But the big thing here is this. Once everything's properly in and shut, right? That's the only way to get them out. So if I, whoa, nothing fell out. Doesn't matter what I do. I can do whatever to it. It can be tossed around in a backpack, thrown by bullies, and nothing will come out. Unlike a normal two-pocket folder, in which case... Unlucky! If you're one of my players watching this, know that that probably wasn't your folder. There's at least a one in three chance it wasn't your folder full of your characters. And I don't feel bad for doing that. Anyway, 
Another nifty little thing, which will come into play later, is there's a bunch of tables on either side of the folder. So, you know, multiplication tables, a little ruler, a bunch of conversion tables. Great for kids to use to cheat. You know, awesome stuff like that. That's where the Trapper Keeper itself gets the name. It keeps your trappers. Keeps your trappers. Trapper Keeper. Now, there was one major design overhaul. Oh, change. Really, only one thing has changed on the Trapper Keeper. And it was changed three years after it came out. So, originally, it was a metal buckle here. But due to it being a little difficult to shut and manufacturing ease, they replaced it with Velcro. Also, Velcro was really trendy in the 80s, so, you know, make of that what you will. But that's the basic design of the Trapper Keeper and its trappers. It's solid at what it does, and it looks neat. Very cool. The initial Trapper Keeper was designed just around 1978 by a man named Brent Crutchfield and his team. Crutchfield was the director of new ventures at the Mead Corporation at the time, which Mead is a corporation best known for making paper and paper accessories, so pens, notebooks, folders, so on. He and his team were to come up with a new product that would sell like hotcakes to school kids. And they did a great job. It was very well researched. So during their initial test run, they had slips that people could send back with little questions on it. You know, why did you buy this Trapper Keeper? What are you using it for? So on and so forth. And they got a lot of slips back. Also to know, if you sent in a slip, you got a free binder, which is pretty cool. That generated a lot of market data, which was very useful for them. They just about got 1,500 of these slips back. So very impressive to start off with. As well as asking kids, they also asked teachers what they wanted to see in new products for their students. And teachers said they wanted to see better organization because kids are generally not very good at keeping themselves organized. Along with that, Harvard research showed that the kids in schools, their numbers were increasing, and also locker size was decreasing. So that got Crutchfield and his team thinking. They knew that portfolios were becoming very popular, and with locker size decreasing, perhaps a specialized portfolio and portfolio keeper would be very popular among students. So that got the ball rolling. Now, the trappers, the folders, were inspired by peachies, as in, you know, they're peachy keen. Pretty neat. However, unlike the original peachy keens, as I showed you, trappers have angled pockets, unlike the peachy keens, which had just straight ones. Now, it was over martinis that Crutchfield and his R&D manager, John Wyatt, came up with the names for the trapper and the trapper keeper. Start off with, okay, what do we call this folder? Trapper. Okay, what do we call the binder? Trapper Keeper. Nice and simple, elegant, pretty good. But with that, more testing was needed. Focus testing. For a year, they tested, scrapped, remade, tested again, scrapped, just about five to six different designs of the Trapper Keeper before they were finally satisfied. And once they were, Crutchfield flew from Dayton, Ohio to Manhattan to film the first commercial. And as a quick aside, a lot of things come back to Ohio. It's really weird. Now I know there's a lot of stupid memes about Ohio and how weird it is, which to a certain extent, fair enough. I'm from Ohio. Perhaps that's why I notice it, but I feel like a lot of things just come right back to us. Oh, and as an aside to this aside, despite what I am wearing, it is cold and miserable outside. They filmed their first commercial, and it's pretty amusing. I'll cut up some segments of it so you can watch it here. Trapper? Traps in all my papers. Where do you keep them? In the Trapper Keeper. What could be neater? A date with her. It's pretty good. With that commercial done, they needed a test market to roughly gauge how well it would do around the country. So... In 1978, in Wichita, Kansas, they 
released a bunch of Trapper Keepers into stores, and they sold out. It did extraordinarily well. And inside these Trapper Keepers were more of the feedback cards, and a bunch were sent in. And they found that, surprisingly, not just students were using them, but adults were too, for whatever adults use folders for. But it showed the wide appeal of the Trapper Keeper. So they knew they had a hit on their hands. In the summer of 1981, the Trapper Keeper was unleashed into America. And in preparation, me produced a primetime network ad, which was really weird for the time. Practically unheard of, but it worked. It worked really, really well. As Crutchfield put it, we rolled it out and it was just like a rocket. It was the biggest thing we'd ever done. I saw kids fighting over designs in retail. That's awesome. After the initial wave, they released a bunch more Trapper Keepers. Some with cool art and designs, some plain ones. They eventually changed the metal button to a Velcro one. But the big thing was, the core design of it remained unchanged. It was a hit from the start. And it did extraordinarily well for the company. For a very, very long time. Now, Trapper Keepers are remembered very fondly by the people who have them. There's so many cool little memories I was able to read about. For instance, the very handy multiplication and measurement conversion tables on the inside of the Trappers. Yeah, very useful for cheating on tests. There's one story I read where a teacher had to take every single one away from their students before each test. And another story about how a teacher said, all right, you open your trapper keepers at the beginning of class, and then you keep them open till the end of the day, because the sound of a classroom full of kids with trapper keepers all opening up these Velcro valves at once got to be really annoying. That's kind of awesome. Along with that, too, you were a cool kid if you had a trapper keeper. That's something my dad remembers particularly. These things were status symbols. And speaking of that, I have one and you most likely don't. That is unlucky. You are a dweeb and at the end of the video, get out of here. Go, I don't jeepers. Unlucky. But with that, Trapper Keepers were well liked. They're very cool. And in 2021, Mead re-released them with these neat retro designs. And they captured my attention, and that's why you're hearing this video right now. So, in closing, only dweebs use these cloth, zippered binder things. Cool kids use Trapper Keepers. Trapper and Trapper Keeper, only from Mead. Hi!